friends, welcome to Mimi's Mixed Bag. I just wanted to come on here real briefly and tell you I apologize for being MIA. I normally upload a couple projects a week, but this week we have started virtual school, and I tell you, it is not for the faint at heart. Uh, just trying to learn the software as a parent or facilitator is a job in itself, in addition to helping the children get the work completed. So I wanted you to know for the rest of this month, I will probably only be doing about one project a week until we can get this virtual school a little more on autopilot. This next month, I should be back to my two projects a week, hopefully. So today I've got something really cute to share with you. It's a project that's been on my to-do list. And uh, the funny thing is, is part of the supplies I actually found this weekend when I was yard sailing and I thought, you know, that's just a sign that I need to get this project done. So I'm going to take you over here to my kitchen counter and show you what I found. Today I am making a tiered solar garden light. My original plan was to make them out of some landscape timbers. You just cut a landscape timber into three different heights and create it that way. Well, and here's what I found yard selling this weekend. Three tiered logs, perfect for this project. If I had to guess, they probably made some themselves. But I know landscape timbers are a whole lot easier to come by for most people than three perfect logs. Now you're also gonna need two or three solar lights, just depending on you know how you want to embellish yours. And since it's fall, you could put two lights and a pumpkin, or if it's Christmas time, two lights and a Christmas tree or something like that on one of the tiers. Now, what I have here is just a little six pack of some Walmart solar lights that I had three left over, or you could use the great bigger ones, especially with my logs being bigger, this would look great, but I'm just gonna use what I have here. But if you have the smaller landscape timbers, these smaller lights would work better. But I'm just gonna use what I have here. Now, like I said, you could make this any theme. A Christmas one is, would be really pretty, a spring one. I've got a bag here of fall leaves and pumpkins and acorns, some more colorful pumpkins, some green moss from Dollar Tree, twine, raffia, and some fall ribbon. Now, all these embellishments right here are strictly optional. I've seen them before where they were just very plain and look really pretty. Just wrapping some jute twine around the logs and just lights only. I love that plain look, but you know, I like to jazz things up. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and drill a hole in the top of each log, just big enough to secure these lights about a half inch down. If you've got some strong hot glue, it should hold them pretty good. Now, if you have one of the heavier solar lights, common sense tells you you will need to make your hole a little deeper and more secure. So I'll come back when my logs are drilled. All right, I've got my hole drills now and I'm proud to say I did it myself and didn't have to wait on my husband or son. But I want to show you what I used here. Honestly, I don't know the name of it, but I knew what it did. And I was able to get about a half an inch down in there, just deep enough where with enough hot glue, I can get these to stand on all three logs. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some jute twine and wrap my logs around three or four times just to secure them all three together. All right, here is the twine tied around and the lights hot glued onto the logs. And I really do like the plain look, but I'm also gonna like it decorated as well. Now here's where you can decide if you want your embellishments to be temporary or permanent to where you can change out the ribbons and the little odds and ends that you may hot glue around on the logs. So what I'm gonna do is hot glue a little of this Dollar Tree moss on the tops of the logs. Okay, friends, got the finishing touches on my garden lights. I got almost all the lights out so you can see them lit up. And just, I think it's going to be so pretty on my back patio somewhere or even at the front door. And you can buy these solar lights at the dollar stores, but just keep in mind, you kind of get what you pay for. So I would encourage you to maybe get a little better quality just so you may not have to 
take it apart and redo it. But I'm gonna turn the lights on now so you can just see what I did. And then these little miniature pumpkins and the little gourd things, I got that in a little 97 cent pack at Walmart. I just tied a little raffia bow around each light stick and then I had just a little scrap of ribbon that I made a little bow and hot glued it on the front. So. You just learn to make do if you're working with scraps here. And then I had some little miniature pine cones and just absolutely love how it turned out. So I hope that this project will inspire you to find you some logs and some solar lights and make you a tear display. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back next week sharing whatever I'm making. Bye-bye.